Today we're going to unbox and set up the Ferro Focus Premium Laser Scanner. We'll start with everything you need to know about what's included and we'll end with some next steps you might want to take. Your scanner comes in an impact and water resistant case designed to protect your purchase through travel, shipping, or on the job site. When you open the case, you'll notice your welcome paperwork and the scanner calibration certificate. Keep up with the calibration certificate. Speaking of protecting your scanner, you will see the foam cover in place over the scanner's mirror. You'll want to keep this on the mirror when the scanner is not in use. It helps prevent dust or fingerprints from getting on the mirror but don't forget to take it off before you scan. With the Focus Premium, you'll notice some new features. Ruggedized edges and the status indicator with LED light. You also have an accessory bay for the optional pano cam. Now, in the case, you also have your power dock battery charger. You've got your charging cables your battery. Now, you'll want to fully charge the battery before your first use. Green means you are good to go. And note that the Focus Premium battery is a more powerful battery than previous Focus Series batteries, as the Premium is a more powerful scanner. It requires more power. Also in your case, you have your USB SD card adapter. Now, the Premium is the only scanner with a solid state drive, so you do have the choice of saving data to the SD card or SSD. We talked about protecting your mirror from fingerprints before, but what happens if you get some on there? Well, we supply you with cleaning fluid and lens cleaning tissues. Now, keep in mind, instructions on cleaning the scanner mirror, as well as full part descriptions and manuals, can be found on knowledge.ferro.com, and instructors will go over that in your Ferro training course as well. Lastly, in the box, you will find your quick release. That's in two parts, one to install on the scanner and one to install on the tripod. Let's install the quick release now. In this video, you'll learn to assemble the quick release tripod mount for your Ferro Focus scanner. The parts you'll need for this assembly include the scanner mount, a coupling, base plate with graduated dial, thread adapter 5 8 to 3 8 inch, one hex key 4 mm provided, and one hex key 8 mm not provided. Step 1. Attach the scanner mount to the bottom of the scanner. Verify that all four hooks on scanner mount are in the fully retracted position. If necessary, use the provided hex key to loosen the screws until the hooks are in the correct position as shown here. Step 2. Attach the scanner mount to the bottom of the scanner. Position the scanner mount on the base of the laser scanner as seen here. Using the provided hex key, tighten the four screws in a crisscross pattern as shown. Step 3. Attach the base plate to the tripod platform. Begin by verifying that the mounting stud of the tripod is 3 8 inch thread. If the mounting thread is 5 8 inch thread, the thread adapter should be removed from the coupling using the provided hex key. Step 4. Set up the tripod. Extend the legs of the tripod and lock the leg angle clips. Ensure that the tripod is stable, the feet are secure, and the platform is as level as possible. Finally, remove any previously installed adapters or mounting plates. Step 5. Assemble. Place and center the base plate with graduated dial. Thread the coupling onto the tripod threaded stud and tighten firmly using a 5 16 inch hex key. Step 6A. Attach to tripod base plate. Before attaching to the tripod base plate, remove the protective covering from the tripod base plate screw. Step 6B. Attach the mount as shown here. Step 7A. Install the scanner onto the tripod. Ensure the thumb screw is loosened enough so that it does not interfere with the mounting of the scanner. 
holding the scanner above the tripod, lower the scanner onto the tripod over the coupling. Final step, 7B. Rotate the scanner to orient it relative to the location you want to scan. Tighten the thumb screw until the scanner is securely locked onto the tripod. Don't forget, information on this and other Faro hardware and software is available on the Faro Knowledge Base, knowledge.faro.com. Now that you're familiar with everything in the case and you have your quick release installed, you're ready to scan. Let's go over setting up your scanner. You want to open up the tripod and ensure the legs are locked and stable at the lowest elevation possible for your use. The easiest way to extend a segment with twist lock sleeves is to start your wrist in the forward position and twist back. That's really as much rotation as you need. You can then extend that section and when it's time to lock, you just repeat that motion in the opposite until you've finished with all the sections that you need. When you're done, I like to always give the tripod a little lean just to make sure all my segments are nice and locked in. Now you want to place the scanner on your tripod. Place scanner on the tripod, open up the scanner's battery compartment by pulling towards you. Now you insert your fully charged battery with white writing up until it clicks. Insert your SD card or on the Focus Premium, you can choose to use the SSD. So put your SD card in, close the battery compartment door. Power the scanner on by pressing the power button for about three seconds. It's going to blink blue on the top. You can see that blinking blue light while it's booting up. Solid blue light tells you you are ready to scan. Rotate your scanner to an appropriate starting position and then twist to lock the scanner into place. You're now familiar with the Focus Premium and everything in the case.